Malpal, let's go ahead and head over to the hotline as we welcome in the head coach of the state championship, Lorena Leopard, Coach Ray Biles. Coach, how are you, man? Doing well, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. Um, we good. gotta ask you before anything else. You've had a couple weeks now, you know, to let to let it all kind of die down and, and soak it all in. But how are things in Lorena, Texas? Is everyone still just so excited about that state championship? Oh, absolutely. Uh, a lot of folks. Uh, I mean, we had a great crowd that day, and I think there were, there were people from uh, the 87 championship game that were all there as well. So uh, it's kind of a big deal here in Lorena, and, and a lot of people are still enjoying it, and that's great for our community and our kids and our school, and uh, it's just a great all-around thing. So I want to go back and kind of start at the beginning of the season. We we projected you guys to finish first in your district. We knew you were going to be pretty good. I mean, you had a great run at 9-3 and three last year, got knocked out in that regional semifinal round. When you when you think back to August and you look at those groups of, of returning starters that you had, did you know then that you had the the team and the pieces of the puzzle to be able to make a state championship run? Well, I, I thought we had the uh, the chance to do that. You know, so many things have to go well for you, uh, injury wise, and, and so many other ways. Uh, your kids, a lot of them, you know, just need to develop. You know, can they continue to improve? And I thought we had a good nucleus, but. Uh, it was a matter of how quickly can those guys grow together? Uh, can the offensive line get a little bit better? Can our defense start? You know, we last year we scored an awful lot of points, uh, but we, we had a difficult time stopping people. But this year we had a much better defensive stand all the way uh, through the season. So, anyway, there were some question marks, but I think uh, after the first two ball games, <clears throat> we were 0-2 against Franklin and China Spring. But uh, at that point in time, I could tell, hey, we, we got a shot. These guys are good, and they're playing well, and they're playing hard, and things don't rattle them. They just get up and keep going. So, uh, you know, we thought we had a shot. Well, and that's – I love how you phrase that. Because, I mean, obviously, yeah, you start the season 0-2. Now, obviously, those two teams had incredible seasons as well. But you started there moving on throughout the season. Was there a moment when stuff had really been going right? You start to get some of those wins under your belt that you realized, oh, shoot, man, we're we're doing this. We we actually can make this run to AT&T Stadium. Was there a specific moment in the year that that clicked? Yeah, I believe for me, probably, uh, I guess it was the area finals uh, down at uh, – Texas State against mm -hmm. Columbus. Uh, we had a very good ball game in, in all phases of the of the game, offense, defensive, kicking game, and I could just see the you know the confidence uh, you know, growing week to week to week. And these guys, uh, you know, they grew into a position where you know they they were expecting to win. They weren't just hey, let's hope this works out well. It was like now let's go take care of our business. So uh, from that standpoint, probably that you know third round of the playoffs, and from then on, I, I really thought those guys are you know they they all. <laughs> have uh, bought into what we're selling and uh, it looks real good absolutely it did and offensively speaking I mean you really had a two-headed monster there with uh, both Rhett and Reed at, at the running back positions and some really tough ground and pound kind of guys I know that they're seniors obviously they went out on top but how much fun was it for you to watch those two guys go in there week in and week out and just dominate well, it, it, it was so nice because there was no drop-off. Uh, they, they both played on defense. Uh, Rep was a defensive end, reads a safety. So they were both playing on the defense side of the ball, and uh, whichever one of them happened to be rotating in on that particular series at the running back position, you know, uh, Reed ended up with 1,437 yards, and Red ended up with 1,496 yards. So you know, they were almost balanced out as far as – carries and yards per carry and everything else so there wasn't really a drop off but uh being there, and i think those two kids were you know really encouraging each other uh, mm -hmm. you know i know when when reed got hurt in the semifinal game in the second quarter you know um uh, he it would have been easy for him just to you know poker up and pout up but uh man he was a number one cheerleader the rest of the week uh, going into that state championship game and we were still hopeful that we could get him on the field but it just didn't pan out that way so uh you know going into the game we were pretty sure Rip was going to have to carry the rock all night long and he did a tremendous job for us and then going over to your defense, too, I mean, this was a unit that really only gave up just over 14 points a game out of your unbelievably long season. We knew that that was going to be a really strong unit for you. How pleased were you with the way that that unit just worked? It seemed like they gelled together so well. They did, and they really, uh, as the season progressed, you know, a lot of confidence, uh, again, on that side of the ball. But, you know, those kids played extremely hard. They they weren't the biggest ones, uh, you know, by far uh, that we've had, but uh, – Boy, these guys got after it, and uh, you know the pursuit and the way they played with a tremendous amount of effort, and uh, just rallied to the ball, rallied to the ball, and rallied to the ball. And 
you know, we just, uh, you know, our whole philosophy is just don't give up the home run, force them to snap it again, snap it again, snap it again. If we can do that, then hopefully we can get a stop or, or end up with three instead of seven up on the board. So anyway, but I'm very proud of the way those guys progressed. Coach Snodgrass and our defensive staff did a tremendous job with them. And then finally, you get to that state championship game, and your guys come out. I mean, you get up 14 nothing, and, and you really never looked back from that point. I'm curious as to, at, at halftime of that game, what were you telling your guys about going out there and finishing that second half of play and ending up being the state champions? Well, you're exactly right. You know, we talked about finishing the game, and, and then we felt like in the second quarter we, we did not play our best football uh you know mm-hmm. we had a turnover and we had some some miscues they hit a couple of big plays and so uh um, you know we felt like we'd probably taken some of their best shots and, and we were still up by possession so uh you know it was critical in the third quarter that we go out and get a stop and we did right off the get-go and went down and scored again and extended that lead to 21-6 and uh, you know and then it, it was on from there but uh yeah those guys at halftime we just you know said hey keep doing what we do uh we're not going to come in here and change anything uh just keep playing hard and let's see what happens but uh you know very very confident bunch of kids and uh there never was a doubt in their minds that you know they were going to come out of the thing with a w we're talking to coach ray biles the head coach of the Lorena leopards get involved with the conversation hashtag to you today coach there's a couple more questions for you and and one i know texas high school football coaches hate talking about themselves but we're gonna put you on the spot here with that state championship win that not only was your 200th career win then you add on to the fact that it was your first state championship at a program that you've been coaching at for 30 years now. I mean, you're a man who is the fabric of that community there. What what did it mean for you to be able to finally hoist that trophy up and, and when that buzzer finally rang at at the end of that game? What did what was it what was that moment like for you? Well, obviously, you know, it was very emotional. <clears throat> My kids were down there. They're all adults at this point in time, and we have nine grandkids. And, and so <laughs> there were a lot of family members that, uh, you know, had, had endured an awful lot. You know, I've mm-hmm. coached for 42 seasons, like you said, the last 30 here at Lorena. And uh, to be able to put it all together and, and to be able to bring one home for uh, this community was huge. Uh, and not only just for me, but for our family and everything else, because, you know, the sacrifices that a coach's family make are tremendous. Uh, you know, there's a lot of times dad's gone. A lot of times your husband's gone. So uh, anyway, they, uh, you know, that was something that I felt, uh, you know, tremendously not relieved, but just uh, very happy for a lot of people other than myself. But uh, it, it was a great feeling and, you know, still is somewhat. Absolutely. And then finally, coach football coaches, well, they they never shut their brain off. I know it's only January and, and we're already looking forward towards the 2022 season. But when you take a look at the Lorena Leopards and, and what they can do in, in 2022, what are you excited about for the team? Well, we've got some good ball players coming back. <clears throat> you know, Jaden Porter, one of our receivers, uh, sophomore, be back for a couple of years. Uh, Joe Gutshaw, uh, another young man that plays in defensive line and a very good football player. And they're just two of, of several young men that we have coming back that I think we're going to have to build around. And, uh, you know, we've got an awful lot of work in front of us. We started um, uh, six, seven, eight. I think eight seniors on both sides of the ball. So mm-hmm. I think we're bringing back three and three on either side wow. of the ball. And so a lot of places to play, a lot of places <laughs> to fill in. And, uh, you know, we've got a lot of competition going on right now. We're back we're back in the weight room and on the track and trying to get better today. Well, Coach, we really appreciate the time. Thank you for giving us <laughs> an unbelievable football team to watch there. It, w- it was a blast to watch y'all. Congratulations again on the win. And we, we hope the party in Lorena just keeps going for you, man. Well, thank you, Ashley. We appreciate y'all too. And thanks for the job that you do for Texas High School football. We appreciate it. There he goes. The head coach of the state champion, Lorena Leopards, Coach Ray Biles. Hey, thanks for watching this clip here on YouTube. If you like this kind of stuff and you want more of it, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you can watch us live every weekday at noon at texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, or here on YouTube. And if you want more of the best coverage of football in the state of Texas, check out texasfootball.com and become a Dave Campbell's Texas Football Insider at texasfootball.com slash subscribe.